what a comeback for UCLA after trailing at the half by a score of 10 to 7 to battle back and win it. And good evening once again, everyone. A beautiful night for college football in the Arroyo Seco, the Rose Bowl of Pasadena. Glad you joined us as we get ready for the University of Washington. The Huskies are in town to take on the UCLA Bruins. UCLA ranked 20th in the country. They're 3-0, and this will be the Pac-10 opener tonight for the UCLA Bruins. Everybody knows that Washington is trying to rebuild the program under new head coach Tyrone Willingham, who used to be the Stanford head coach, and by way of Notre Dame, hired this past year to try to get the Huskies back on track. Yeah, one thing Isaiah Sandbeck does have is a very strong arm, but he can scramble, he can get out of the pocket once he breaks containment. This guy runs a 10-9, 100 meters. And I think he has really improved since Tyrone Willingham has become the head coach of Washington. And Tyrone Willingham, talk about a resume. 2002 National Coach of the Year at Notre Dame. 1995 and 1999, Pac-10 Coach of the Year. He coached under Bill Walsh and Dennis Green. In fact, his overall Pac-10 record is 47 and 29. And what I like about Tyrone Willingham, all he wants is for his team to work hard, don't make mistakes, play smart football. He wants guys that do well in the classroom and that are good people, a lot like head coach Carl Durrell. Believe me, it is a perfect night for Pac-10 college football and the Bruins, their opener against the Washington Huskies. The lone setback, snap, handoff. That goes to Rake, and he'll be dropped for a loss. Toyotathon is back for 20. Welcome back to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Chris Roberts, Matt Stevens up in the booth. We got Wayne Cook down on the sideline as we get ready for kickoff. Now, UCLA won the toss. They're going to defer until the second half, so Washington will be receiving. Here's Medlock. He'll step up to the ball and kick it high end over end. This ball will be caught at the two-yard line. Returned across the 5, 10, 15. Slipping a tackle at the 20 up near the 26-yard line. So first and 10, 27-yard line. Stand back at quarterback. He's got Rankin, the lone setback. Snap, handoff. That goes to Rankin. He'll be dropped for a loss. 22-yard line. Second and 10, 15-yard line. Snap, Olsen, handoff through. He'll break through on the far side across the 20, 25, and tackle near the 28-yard line. And that's a heck of a block by Brian Abraham and Shannon Tavega. Maurice Drew found a lane and was able to leap over a defender and then pick up a first down. Rankin, the long setback on a first and 10 from the Husky 37. Snap the stand back. He'll roll right, pump once. Now throw it down the near side. This ball is going to be caught near the 25-yard line. Steinbach rolls to his right, buys a lot of time so Russo can get down the field. He had press coverage in front of him. Trey Brown tried to stop him, and then he took off down that sideline. From about 36 yards out, field goal attempt. Evan Knudsen, who's five of six on field goals so far this year. Good snap from center. Here's the kick. It is up. It's plenty long, and it's good. And Washington strikes first with a 3-0 advantage in front of UCLA. Penalty flags on the field. I don't see anything. They're talking, though, like there is a penalty. Personal foul against the Bruins. Oh, they're going to call roughing the kicker. And what that'll do is give Washington a first down. Calling signals now. Stand back. Gets the snap. Gives it to Rankin. He'll run to the left side and be tripped up. Jared Page got him around the ankles. And that's the inexperience of a sophomore running back, Rankin. He needs to keep those legs up high. Page was able to trip him up as he was trying to dip it to the outside. And if he gets to the outside, there's no Bruin defender there. That would have been six points for the Huskies. Polida and Rankin in the eye again. Three tight end offense. They put a man in motion. Snap, stand back. Hand off. Polida, he'll dive straight up the middle and be upended near the one-yard line. Field goal time. This one from 18 yards out. Five minutes left in the quarter. Good snap. Ball down. Here's the kick. It is up, and it is good. Hey, you said right about 
tackle and uh, show uh, all green fronts. Yeah, that pause that, right? You're right and there, huh? God, he shook him. Yeah. He's just yelling, y'all, oh, God. Right now, I just flat out our way. Simple as that, okay? It ain't nothing that we're not I mean, they just flat out our way. We gotta pick this thing up. Watching FSN West 2. First and 10 at the Bruin 20 for the Huskies. Stand back, gets the ball. Here's a handoff. James running left. He takes it down the near sideline. He's going all the way. Touchdown, Washington. A 20-yard scamper by Kenny James. Well, if you want a wake-up call, right now you're getting a wake-up call, UCLA. Kenny James got to the sidelines and all of a sudden made a sharp cut, found a lane, and it was clear sailing into the end zone. Third down, three. Half Olsen, he'll fade back, throw it, incomplete. Intended for Joe Cowan. Joe Cowan was triple covered. In fact, if Drew Olsen throws that ball even near Joe Cowan, it's going to be picked off. Right now, this game plan for UCLA is being figured out by the Washington Huskies. There's no one running open. There's no spacing. And that defensive line of Washington is dominating the line of scrimmage. First and 10, 30-yard line. Stand back, play action, rolling right. Throws it under the coverage. That's going to be complete. James Sims is going to take it down the right side. Lose the football. Get hit. Michael Norris with the big tackle. Bruins say they got the football. Sean Hale looks like he came up with it, the true freshman. So Bruin football. Brazil and Ketchum left and right. Now they put Brandon in motion. Olsen gets the snap. Wants to go on top. Throws it. Tipped up in the air. And it's finally grabbed and intercepted by Josh Okabor on the tip drill for Washington. He grabs it and falls down near the 34-yard line. And the Huskies have the ball first and 10. Aaron Perez gets the snap. He'll kick this one away and hang it in the air. This ball is going to land and be caught by the Bruins at about the two-yard line over the shoulder, Michael Norris. Boy, he caught that punt like a wide receiver. Fell down it at the two-yard line after a 50-yard punt by Aaron Perez. Right now, this defense has to make a stand so the offense can get the ball back. Six-yard line, third down, and a long six. Out of the gun. Stanbeck fades back, throws it, almost intercepted on the far side. John Douglas just about two yards from stepping out of the end zone. Gets the snap, steps up, and kicks this one in the air. Maurice Drew driven back. He'll field it at the 35. Straight up the center of the field, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. Still in the center field, 35, 30, 25, 20. Cuts down to the near side right. Goes into the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. Penalty flags. Back up field. Yeah, Rodney Van got called for a block in the back on J.R. Wolfolk. They're going to bring this ball back and negate a great punt return for a touchdown. If you listen to me the first time two plays ago, I said you were close to clipping on the first one. And now they got you on the second. You got to do it right. You understand that? You got to be smart. So I'll do, baby. Get you right next time, baby. I'll be down inside, baby. Stay up, all right? Olsen, the quarterback, gets the snap. Drops back, looks over the middle, throws the ball, it's tipped, it's going to be intercepted at the 35-yard line. Falling flat on his back, Joe Lobendon, after he made the catch on the tipped ball, second interception of the game. That's how we hold it down over here, let's go. Right now, they just flat out our way. Simple as that, okay? It ain't nothing that we're not I mean, they just flat out our way. Play action by Olsen rolling to the right. Throws it in the end zone. Is it caught? Yes. Touchdown. Big man, Mercedes Lewis. Hi. John West and FSN West 2. Obviously, guys, UCLA is going to have to step it up. And one of the key components to that is going to be Drew Olsen. The coaches know this as well. Coach John Embry and Eric Bieniemy just walked over to Drew as he was warming up 
and shook his hand as if to tell him, hey, this is your team. Let's lead us back to a victory. First and 10, 14 yard line, UCLA. Man in motion, play action, fades back, wants to throw, and drills one to the 37 yard line. Nice catch by Mercedes Lewis. Chris, that time the UCLA offense finally got Mercedes Lewis split out wide as a wide receiver, and he ran a slant route about 12 yards up the field, and that ball was low, and that big 6'6 frame went down to the turf and pulled it in for a big gain on first down for UCLA. Aaron Perez, punt formation, 15-yard line. Good snap from Jondal. Kicks this one away and hangs it in the air. Russo is going to catch it and then lose the football. It's muffed. There's a scramble for it. 28-yard line. William Sneed with a big hit on Russo. No indication yet by the officials on who has the ball. They're unpiling bodies. The Bruins have got it. First and 10, UCLA. In the eye, Stevens now at the fullback position. Play action by Olsen. Steps up into the pocket. Throws an out pattern complete. Three yard line. A strike to Joe Cowan. That's the first time UCLA has attacked the outside of the field at about that 25 yard level. A post corner route, and Joe Cowan just turns Matt Fontaine around, and that ball was thrown perfectly. Olsen had to step up in the pocket and just threw a strike. Marquis in there now. He'll get the play action by Olsen rolling to the right. Throws it in the end zone. Is it caught? Yes. Touchdown. Big man, Mercedes Lewis. Touchdown, UCLA. Great play action call by offensive coordinator Tom Cable. Olsen goes to the right, and he has to avoid a Washington defender. And when he gets to the outside, he threw that ball in a lot of traffic. It was low, and once again, the big fella went down, called it in, giving UCLA six points. We get to the other side. Do you understand? Oh, How are we going to be stopped? That's all that matters. That's all that matters. How are we going to be stopped? Don't worry about some little thing going wrong. Get the back to him. You got me? Second, 10, 35, Huskies, Washington ball. Stand back, handoff, Rankin running left. He's at the 40, 45, 50, left side. Cuts back to the center of the field. He's at the 40, 35, 30. Now on the right side at the 25. Stops, goes to the 20. Gets down to the 15-yard line before Justin Hickman makes the hit. So a 29-yard field goal attempt. Slight angle to the right. Waiting for the snap. Ball down. Here's the kick. It looks no good. It was no good right from the start. He hooked it to the left. Boy, you got to wonder, UCLA is dodging so many bullets. Second and goal, eight-yard line. Stand back with James, the tailback. He'll get the snap, handoff, James, running right. Gets hit at the one and is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington, on a second effort by Kenny James, a seven-yard run. And they're right now going to review this. Yep, they're going to take a look at it up in the booth. That's why the officials called timeout. And the ball comes loose, and that's what they're going to call a possible yeah. fumble. That's got to be a fumble in the end zone. Recovered by Jared Page in the end zone, we think. After review, there is conclusive video evidence that the runner did not score. The ball will be placed on the one-yard line, one-foot line. The ball will be placed on the one-foot line third down. Yeah, I don't know why they're going to do that. They're going to put it at the one foot line. It was recovered in the end zone. Stand back. Quarterback keeper goes into the end zone. Now they signal touchdown. So instead of a seven yard run by Kenny James, a one yard run by Isaiah Stanback. First and goal at the six. Fake pitch, roll out. Olsen, he can run it. He is. Dives. Goes down to the one. He got upended on a little summer start tackle by Joe Lopendon. Now that's a gutsy move by the quarterback. Oh, he looked like memories of Cade McNown, but he didn't score a touchdown. On the left side of the field, that's where Cade McNown did that flip. 
And right there, that shows heart, determination. Your quarterback's going up in the air, doing a 360, landing on his neck. If you don't play and block for that guy, I'll tell you what, he's got a heart problem. First and 10 at the 40, play action. Olsen looks left, throws it left, complete. Marcus Everett takes it to the far side, down the far side. Left. Bruins to begin the fourth quarter come onto the field first and goal one yard line snap Olsen he'll roll out throw it into the end zone it's caught touchdown Michael Petrie touchdown UCLA Drew Olsen really led that drive some pinpoint passing Michael Petrie on that play fake just sneaks to the outside in the flat and Olsen lobbed that ball over a couple of Washington defenders. And the Huskies are going to have a first and ten at the Bruin 48. Stand back out of the gun. Gets the ball. Fakes the inside handoff. Rolls left. Throws it. Almost picked off. Incomplete. Almost picked off by Wesley Walker. Rankin gets the handoff up the middle, breaks the tackle to the 40, 35 30, cuts back to the center of the field. He's at the 15, the 10, and into the end zone. A touchdown, Washington, but a penalty flag back at the line of scrimmage. And that was a great move at the line of scrimmage by Rankin to get into the secondary, but you could see the holding call as that hold opened up for Rankin. He had an opportunity to okay. it. So we need to let everybody understand how important each play is. We can't let them fall by the wayside, okay? There ain't nothing magical. I can say if you would draw them up, okay? It's going to come down to this. That's all, okay? We don't need to press it, but we need to execute and do our job, okay? But we need to let everybody know, okay? Let's get them going. Get them going. Here's a big fourth down play. Snap. Olsen rolling out, throws it on the run. That's complete. Bob Gardner takes it out of bounds at the 40-yard line right. Pushed out on the near side by Matt Fontaine. First and 10 UCLA. And now UCLA fans can breathe. High formation right behind Drew Olsen. First and 10 at the 40. Play action. Olsen looks left, throws it left. Complete. Marcus Everett takes it to the far side. Down the far side at 40. 35-30. Has one man to beat and gets upended at the 20-yard line. And that was a simple hitch route to the outside. And after ever caught the football, it looked like he was going to go out of bounds. Then all of a sudden, the Washington defender fell down, and he had a clear running lane along the sidelines. And he turned on the afterburners and picked up 40 yards. The Bruins are now capitalizing. Calling signals. Olsen with Marquis the setback. Drew Olsen gets the ball, drops back, throws the angle pattern, complete into the end zone, touchdown UCLA. They're going to say at the one, not a touchdown. They're going to go one inch line to Gavin Ketchum. And I thought the ball looked like he was in the end zone, went down, caught the ball. Went down in the end zone, but they didn't call it a TD. Petrie, so it's not a touchdown. Along with Poo, handoff, Poo, high in the air, bounces in. Did he score it? Yes, touchdown, UCLA. So really it was a break for UCLA that they ruled that Gavin Ketchum was down on the one because 30 seconds came off that clock. Now Washington's going to get the ball back with a minute eight. Stand back, shout instructions. Gets up under center, hits the snap, and drops back. Now rolls to the left. He wants to throw it and fires one long downfield, incomplete at the 30-yard line. Incomplete. Wow, what a comeback for UCLA after trailing at the half by a score of 10-7 to to battle back and win it in the fourth quarter. It's official. It's all over as both ball clubs 
come onto the field. UCLA 21, Washington 17. The UCLA Bruins are now 4 and 0. And we enjoy the highest of heights when you beat a team like Oklahoma and then you come back and you beat Washington, which is a game that we were supposed to win, but the way we won it, you learn so much being behind that whole game and finding a way to, to eclipse it at the very end. That shows you a lot about our character. That shows you a lot about guys stepping up and making plays when they need to. That's how you, that's how you become a great team because you know what? The road's going to get tough. We got to find a way to find a way to win by all of us playing together, both special teams, offense, defense. We all got to do it together because you never know what play is the difference in the game. We saw our defense step up and make critical, critical players in two, in two series in a row. There were times we could have just folded in. There were times we could have just looked at each other and said, you know what, this one slipped away. There was no doubt that that did not happen. You didn't make it happen. You believed that someone was going to make a play. Great teams find a way to win when things aren't clicking. And I'm proud of you. I'm proud of how you won this one. We got work to do next week. We got Cal. Woo. Last thing. Let's sing that fight song!